I'm Alex with Travel Fashion Girl and one of the biggest problems I keep on hearing with my readers is that they're choosing the wrong bag for their trip. So there's a lot of different considerations when it comes to choosing a backpack for travel. Choosing the right backpack has everything to do with where you're traveling. So not one size fits all. As you can see, I have a wide range of backpacks. They also have different purposes. I was using this backpack as my long-term travel personal item. Jansport brand, so functional, it has amazing features, and as a digital nomad, I needed space for my laptop, it's water repellent, it's durable. In my case, I was traveling for months at a time. Because it is a larger bag, 28 liters, it is a great size for a personal item. All my electronics, my valuables, everything and anything that was really important was in this bag. You can see it has a laptop sleeve. I love that it has a really nice opening so that way I can then customize how I'm going to be packing it with the packing organizers I'm using. This bag is particularly well designed because it has a variety of compartments on the outside. It has a dry bag which is amazing because I'm a scuba diver. You know, if you have a wet bathing suit, you don't want to just throw it in your suitcase. So this is absolutely amazing. So this type of bag, not what I'd use to go sightseeing, but great to act as a personal item. It acts as a great carry-on, and it also is great for outdoor adventures. It's really important for me to have that extra water resistance. I've had an experience in Thailand when I got caught in a rainstorm. I was in a rainforest though, but I had a canvas backpack and it got drenched, all my electronics got destroyed, so I'm a bit traumatized from that, so I won't travel with a, with a canvas bag unless it has water repellent properties, and I'm gonna show you this awesome bag that does. It's a bag that actually looks like a canvas bag, but what it is, it's actually coated canvas, which means that it's waterproof, and it's a really cool brand called Milliken. The inside's fantastic, actually. It's quite spacious, has a laptop compartment, and other little sections, which is really handy. This is a fantastic option for either um, male or female travelers. If you're a business traveler, and then you have your electronics in here. If you're looking for a day bag or a personal item, this is fantastic. It's not as sporty as a Jansport, that if you did want to use it to walk around town sightseeing, then you could. So I'll put this one back. Okay, don't judge me, I had to do it. I've been eyeing this bag forever and ever. And it was this Marc Jacobs bag. And the reason why I got this one because I wanted something that I could use to go on city trips. Now, this is my new personal item, or my weekender, I suppose. It's nylon, it's easy to clean, it's slightly water resistant, and I think it's cute, I love it. Stylish practical, smaller but spacious compartment here in the front. Above, it has a similar compartment, but it's like triple or quadruple the size, so it's actually quite spacious. Probably the one downfall is that it does not have a laptop sleeve. I prefer bags with a nice big opening, so I'd like to be able to use my own packing organizers. Now let's talk about theft for a second. I know one of the biggest things people say is, isn't someone gonna just open it up? Is a backpack actually safe? So let's say you're walking on the street, the biggest misconception is people stealing from your backpack, but generally speaking, they're not going to stop and unzip your bag while you're walking. The biggest places where you'd have to be careful, on a train for example, or if you're standing around still. So in that case, grab it and put it maybe here instead and hold it like this. There's an extra precaution that you could take. Get the zippers and then just lock it up. Don't place your valuables here. Use anti-theft items like the bra stash, the money belt. For the most part, you wouldn't be a target. Now I've showed you all the backpacks that you could use to travel with as personal items, as carry-ons. Now let's talk about using a backpack as a purse. This is the Rebecca Minkoff Julian backpack. I haven't been able to find a bag that's as awesome as this one. I can wear it at the airport and I'm hands-free. And also when you're sightseeing, it's really nice to be hands-free. So that's definitely one of the biggest benefits of having a purse like this, stylish and functional. This awesome zipper in the back where I place my passport or money, that's gonna be the hardest place for someone to get into, which is awesome. Here's the trick. I've met travelers actually that have this bag and don't know this trick. This is where it becomes my anti-theft bag. Instead of clipping it on the bottom, you just clip it on the top. It makes it slightly less 
easy for someone to get in. I'll show you another one of my new buys, and this time I bought a bag that was more for outdoor trips. It's Stella McCartney for Adidas. I think I found it on sale. It's super cute. It's functional. It has water bottle holders, breathable mesh. It's very packable, which is great, with a pocket rain cover as well. Great option if you're looking for a more fashionable, um, packable backpack. If on your trip you're going to have some hiking activities, but not many, then you don't need to have a whole hiking backpack just for it, especially if you're only going to be doing a day or two. Probably maybe it fits a small tablet. And it's ultra lightweight. So I have one last backpack to show you. This brand is called Thule from Sweden. This is a type of bag that would work well if you're planning to use a carry-on backpack. When you're looking to travel more long term and use it to house the majority of your belongings, you want to make sure that it's strong. It has padding, it has support, it has tons of pockets, lots of compartments, lots of organization, and it has a really nice padded laptop sleeve as well. The great thing is to have a double compartment like this is that you could have maybe your electronics in one, your belongings in another, use this on its own, or maybe for a weekend trip, or in addition to maybe a roll-on bag. So for sightseeing, stick to something small. Then as a personal item, or even as a carry-on, use something like this. And then for long-term travel, digital nomad, something very rugged and has enough compartments. If you have any questions, please feel free to post them in the comments. Remember, I answer all the questions myself, so please feel free to share them. I would love it if you follow Travel Fashion Girl on Facebook. Again, my name is Alex. I'm with TravelFashionGirl.com. My goal is to help you pack lightly and stylishly for all your trips around the world. Hopefully carry on only, but if you don't, that's okay too. I'll help you maximize your space. So head over to TravelFashionGirl.com. Take care and thank you so much for tuning in today.